So this is Catchy OS, and this is the latest edition. I'm going to be installing this in a virtual machine. So these are some of the features. Catchy OS is based on Arch Linux. So this is the welcome page and there's documentation, support and project. And you can click on any one of these tabs to read more. For example, read me. This is the release info and the version here is 24.09. I'm going to click on launch installer. So this is the installer menu. I'm going to leave the language as English. This is location. I'm going to leave it as default. This is the keyboard settings and layout. So this is the partition section. I'm going to select erase disk. This is the file system. And there are a few options here. I'm, I'm going to select BTRFS. There's also option to encrypt system. This is the bootloader location. I'm going to leave it as default. So the default desktop environment is Plasma, but there are some options here that you can choose and you can click on any one and you can see a preview on the right side. I'm going to leave it as Plasma Desktop. So these are additional packages. And you can choose additional packages here. I'm going to select print in support. I'll create an account. So there are two options here, login automatically without asking for password. I'm going to leave that on check and use the same password for the administrator account. I'm going to leave that box check. This is the summary. I'll click in scroll. So installation is complete. I'm going to restart the computer. I'm going to click done. So on the lower left side, there's a virtual keyboard. There's also the desktop session and you can leave it as Plasma WLAN. There's also Plasma X11. I'm going to leave it as the default WLAN. So on the lower left side, this is the application launcher. This is all applications. This is development. This is graphic. This is internet. This is multimedia. This is settings. This is system. This is utilities. I'm going to open the volume control. So this is the beat up app. This is the BTRFS assistant.
This is a catchy OS kernel manager. I'll open that. So it says in here you will see information about currently installed and available Linux kernels. And you can install or uninstall kernel packages using the checkboxes. This is the package installer. So you can install packages here. And they are listed by categories. I'll install LibreOffice. So under the utilities, this is the micro app, and you can edit text files in the terminal here. So under utilities, there's the spectacle app. This is a screenshot capture utility. So on the panel, this is the system settings. So these are the categories on the left side, input and output, connected devices, networking, appearance and style, apps and windows, workspace, security and privacy, language and time, and system. This is the Dolphin File Manager. So this is the Catchy Browser. So the Catchy Browser is based on Firefox. So on the lower right side, this is the time and date. This is status and notifications. This is the network icon. This is disk and devices. This is brightness and color. And this is the volume icon. So I'm going to right click the desktop. I'm going to select desktop and wallpaper. These are some of the wallpapers. So there's a containing folder here on each of the wallpaper and you can just open the folder and you can find more wallpapers here. So I'm going to choose this wallpaper. So I'll right click the panel, I'll show panel configuration. This is the panel settings, I can increase the panel size. And I can move the panel just by clicking on the position icon here. 
and I just have to click on the arrows. For example, I'll click on the left arrow and the panel is on the left. I'll click on the right arrow and the panel is on the right. I'm going to leave it at the bottom. I can also add or manage widgets. These are a list of the widgets. I can also search for widgets here. So I'll enable the Tube feature. I'm going to click on the Settings app. So under Apps and Windows, I'll select Windows Management. I'll click on Virtual Desktops. I'm going to add four more virtual desktops. So there's only one virtual desktop. So I'm going to add five more. Click Apply. And it's here on the panel. I'm going to click on Desktop Effects. I'm going to scroll all the way down until I see Windows Management. And this is Q. I'm going to select Q. I'll click Apply. So to show the Q feature, I'm going to hold the Windows key and the C key. And to get out of this, I'll hit the Escape key. So I'll open the System Monitor. So I'm going to do a system update and I'm going to type sudo pacman-syu. So it's all up to date. So the kernel version is 6.11. So the plasma version is 6.2.3. So I want to thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.